a te Māori e whānau, whānau, khānau, um, however you pronounce it, from wherever, whichever region you're from. So, today's kupu or today's place name, uh, by the way I'm at work again, um, is Rotorua. I'm going to try and say all of those um, well-known places that everyone always seems to get wrong. So Rotorua <coughs> is our place name for today. Okay, it's not Rotorua, it's not Rota Vegas, even though I always say Rota Vegas. Um, yeah, it's Rotorua. Okay, I suppose the hardest part in that kupu or that place name is the R again. And just rolling your R like a cat purring. Right? Uh, okay. And I suppose the other hard part in that is the T. So you want to pronounce the T like a, um, similar to a D, but not quite a D. So it's a blunt, it's a blunt D. It's a blunt letter D, in other words. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can get any blunter. Anyway, repeat after me. Ro. To. Ru. Right. Um, oh, yeah, I suppose the last part there, rua. You need to roll the U and the A together, like ua, ua, as in, um, as in you are, you know, you are. And you say that quick, quickly, you are. So you take out the Y in there, and you've got ua. All right. So let's go through that again. Ro, to, ru. Ah, now with that T, like I said, you want to sort of pronounce it like a D, um, but you don't want it sounding like um, you've got an Indian accent. I don't have my, my Indian friends, um, but yeah, if you do say your T like a D, you end up pronouncing it how an, um, an Indian would pronounce some of their words, like Rodorua. You don't want to be saying it like that. I don't have my Indian mates. Um, but yeah, and all of those vowels in there are all short. They're not long. There's no tohu to, there's no macrons on top of them to stress the vowel. Okay, so it's ro, to, ru, a. Okay, speed it up. Ro, to, ru, a. 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 Easy. Done. Drive up. Bah.